Hello, my loves. Thank you for coming back to my channel. As you guys can tell, this is going to be a love reading for my lovely Pisces. This can be for sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Lilith, you name it. Or you could just be curious. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's go ahead and get started, my loves. Open minds, open hearts. We clear out all negativity, all right? So a download I got for you before I film my Virgo reading, all right? So I'm not sure if it's for your Virgo or for you or if you have some Virgo placements, whatever, okay? It's a message for you and Virgo. Somebody is moving to Florida, okay? Or you could be leaving Florida, but I feel strongly that somebody here or somebody that you know is moving to Florida, okay? It could be possibly from California. I know it's really random. They don't have to be coming from California. But for certain, somebody's moving to Florida. I don't know why I hear that. I have never got a message like that before. So precise in the general reading. All right, but somebody is moving to Florida. All right, also it is a, a Virgo full moon. Um, that is the sister sign of Pisces, all right? Um, it's happening on March the 7th, I believe. So either it went into, I'm gonna say effect, but that's not the word for it. Don't judge me on it. Um, um today or yesterday okay but you can always feel full moon energy a little bit before the day um it goes in and then a little bit after the full moon goes out okay um let's go ahead and pull a card for your person's energy and then we'll pull a card for your energy okay Also, if I didn't already mention this, um, I'm giving away a free, um, not just one, whoever um, emails me, um, I'm giving away a free spiritual um, coaching consultation, all right? You'll just get only one consultation per person, okay? Um, it's free. And then if you decide to go on with the rest of my coaching sessions, um, I have pricing for individual coaching sessions, and then I also have a bundle deal if you book three sessions, okay? Um, that'll be in the description box below. As well, too, I'm doing spiritual advice readings, all right? So, uh, aka tarot readings, all right? Um, the goal for those readings, though, um, are not to control someone um, or figure out what another person's next move is, I should say it that way, Um or like a prediction or how to get to somewhere faster. That's not really the purpose of my spiritual advice uh, readings. Um, it is uh, to help you uh, tap more into your higher self and your intuition and uh, to cultivate the life that you've always desired to live, okay? And uh, how we do that, it starts with our mind, all right? Our mind, our heart, um, our spirit, okay? So mind, body, and spirit, that's how we connect in that, all right? Um, so one card for your energy. Pisces, just one card. Uh, okay, that's a few of them. Oh, okay. I'm going to keep them too. I see you, Pisces. You sexy like Virgo this week or this month, whenever you find this, okay? This is a timeless uh, general reading. So whenever you find this, it's meant for you. Um, also, time is fluid. So this could be happening for you right now or it could have happened for you in the past or be happening in the near future, okay? Also, um, it's a general, so feel free to flip off the energy if I didn't mention that already, okay? Let's get one card for your mutual energy. Okay, do y'all not want to tell me what the mutual energy is? Okay, mutual energy. Ooh, eight of swords. Mm. Okay, it seems like you both are in a mental prison. I think I'm going to go ahead and get what your challenge is and what your um, potential outcome is. Ooh. Okay. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Damn. These messages is heavy. You feeling really strong about somebody right now, Pisces. Very strong. Okay. You feel like that this is like, um, this person right here, 
this person right here. <laughs> I should title the, the reading this person right here. Like, ooh, that's just what I just keep on hearing. Like, you just is like, ooh. Like, you mind blown about this person. I don't even think you can put it even in words, Pisces, all right? But your mind is just... You could be very fascinated by their mind as well, too, okay? Because, and I'm, this, the reading style I'm doing, very untraditional, but I feel relaxed. I'm at home, my little thin Pisces, so I always feel at home with Pisces, all right? Always good energy, always spiritual, a high vibe energy, you feel me, no matter what. So, um, you have the Ace of Swords, all right? So, I'm saying, Pisces, you could be really in love. This is your person's energy, Ace of Swords is your person's energy. Follow me now, okay? I might be moving real fast all over the place, okay? But follow me. So, um, yo, you could be really in love with this person, mine, okay? And this person could be, like, really out of mind, okay? Um, they could be, I'm getting heavy Aquarius, but they could be a Gemini or a Libra, okay? They have an epiphany or some type of enlightenment. It seems spiritual, though, but it could be about this connection, um, or just their life in general, but they are just beaming, beaming. They have a lot of knowledge too. You think they are very powerful, Pisces, very, very powerful person. You feel like that they are so enlightened just about everything, whether it's spiritually, whether it's book smarts, street smarts, you just feel like they are just so enlightened. That's crazy. It's like, it's so fluid. It's so vivid. I don't know. It's 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 like I'm right there with whatever Pisces I'm talking to. That's crazy. Mm. Beautiful energy, though. Um, you got the Ten of Wands. Okay, so you ending something. All right, a cycle. You don't want to be bothered with that no more. Communication coming in, okay? I don't know this from you or the person. But you, if, some, if you just is thinking about them, they could be thinking about you too, but you just think they is like everything, Pisces. You think they everything. I'm here. Nobody can compare to them. The devil, you could have some Capricorn in your chart they could. You could be obsessed with them too. Obsessed with them. Four of Cups, you could have feel like it's something you missed out on or you don't want to miss out on this person whenever they come. Um, you got to make a decision between being comfortable and going towards the unknown in the future. I don't know what that is, Pisces, but for you, uh, for your energy, though, which I mean, I kind of already said all this stuff. Almost. I wanted to say a curse word, but almost at this point, um, you got the Knight of Cups. You got the Four of Wands, okay? I feel like Aries and Virgo both had that card come out, okay? So go watch those readings. If I've already posted them, y'all energy flowing really good together. And I think it's because we're going into Aries season, and, and Aries season is always the... Um, it represents springtime, the spring equinox. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure, but um, it's during that time. So, so we switching in different time zones, uh, daylight savings, I should say, and also the springtime. So it's the start of a new season. That's what I'm trying to get to, Pisces, okay? It's the start of a new season. So some could be like jumping off in Aries season or you want to. You got Aries in your chart too, Pisces, okay? Um, but it's somebody, especially with this page of cups coming out and the Knight of cups, you want to sweep them off their feet or they want to sweep you off your feet or they your secret admirer or you they secret admirer, but you want to romance the heck out of somebody, Pisces, okay? Like you never did it before. <laughs> oh, this energy good for Pisces. I'm telling you, whoever watching this, God, you better go get you some. <laughs> The four of wands, you want to, you want to, um, a reunion with somebody. You could be wanting to get married too. Watch out now. Um, you could be wanting to get married as well too. Hmm. The nine of cups and the four of wands. Now don't judge me what I'm finna say now. Okay. This could be for a cross watcher. This person could have been a, like, if you watching from a, as a cross watcher, this could have been like a Casanova, but they like a player energy. I'm going to say Casanova. I'm old school like that. Um, 
they could be, uh, I don't want to say reformed or recovered, because I think we probably all a little bit of Casanova's at heart, you know. Um, more, than, more than we like to acknowledge as people. Um, but now they want to move into, like, union, marriage status, okay? Marriage status. <laughs> they could be wanting to move into marriage status, okay? Uh, for your uh, potential, um, I want to say conflict. But for your potential challenge, okay, you could have had conflict with this person in the past or you will. I don't know where that came from. Um, your potential challenge is two of swords, okay? You don't want to make a blind decision, Pisces. You or your person. It could be a person. You could have a lot of air in your chart. I'm thinking about it now. You got the two of swords, the ace of swords, um, the eight of swords. You got a lot of swords, Okay. Y'all in y'all mind heavily thinking about each other, like heavily. Y'all got to, like y'all in a mental prison, y'all trapped by some stuff. I don't know, it either happened in the past with this person Pisces or it just happened just individually apart from each other in y'all lives, if that, if that makes sense. But it's similar energy. Whatever y'all ain't been through or whatever y'all in y'all mind about and can't let go, that y'all need to release as well too. The most important thing is that y'all need to release this, okay? These just strings. You can break them apart. They just crows. You can just, you know, brush off the crows and stuff and just unbind yourself. But it's similar energy though, okay? But I've got a strong feeling that y'all might have experienced it not together, okay? It could have been together. It depends. It could be in, in or both, you know? Um... But yeah, y'all don't want to make a blind decision. It could be this person. Like I said, they could be an air sign, Aquarius, Pisces, or Libra. No, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, excuse me. It could be another Pisces you're dealing with, okay? Or this could be you. You could just be heavily in your air energy as well, too. Okay, because you want to make the best decision. Or you could be mirroring this person. Probably trying to figure out what's the best decision to do. Um, what decision would they like the best, I'm hearing. Um, for a potential outcome, though, is Three of Pentacles. Working together, a sense of community. Um, advice is Page of Cups. Pisces, they saying that you need to just shoot your shot. Spirit and the guys is saying, don't overthink it. Be yourself and just shoot your shot. Whoever this person is. And I can barely say that phrase, shoot your shot, all right? So shooting or something represents to you, okay? I don't know if you play basketball or if you shoot in your spare time. I'm going to say it like that because it is YouTube. But um, they saying that you need to shoot your shot, okay? Or that person will know what that means. Maybe that's something y'all used to say together or a joke or um, what's the phrase I'm looking for? I'm hearing secret meaning, but that's not an inside joke. That's the word I'm looking for. It could be an inside joke, but they saying you just need to shoot your shot. You or this person, but this your reading. So if you want the life that you want to live, Pisces, you can't wait on nobody else to do it. So when I say you or your person, if you want to take action and you watching this reading, take action. Don't wait for the other person because even if it's not receptive, you already in that energy to then go off and create the life you desire, whether it's with that person or not. That's the point I'm trying to get to. It doesn't matter. It's just you creating the life you deserve, whether it's with or without that person, okay? If it's not then Pisces, it'll be somebody else. But now you're in the energy of like, I'm taking action and I'm going out and getting what I want. And I'm not waiting for anybody to hand it to me. I mean, it's love with the Page of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. I feel like that they want to work it out with you. Um... They also want to sweep you off your feet too, Pisces. However you feel is how you feel. If you madly in love and you feel like this person right here, <laughs> this person right here is everything, then um, that's how they feel. Crazy. I looked down at the bottom of the deck. I didn't even pay attention to this. The high priestess. Pisces, this is you for the major arcana. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. That is confirmation right there. Like I said, you could be dealing with another Pisces, but this is you walking in your power. This is what I've been telling. I mean, that um, that means that whoever's watching me or the collective is not necessarily focusing on like 
getting a certain person or trying to do BM and all that type of mess like that, but they really walking in their power in order to create the life they want to live and to be surrounded by the people they want to be surrounded by and be in love with the people they want to be in love with. And they not doing this just to find a person like, like, like the collective can get caught up in doing, but they actually practicing self love first, putting they self first, um, being a higher self, and this attracts um, unconditional love from others and a soulmate or a romantic partner, however you see it, okay? Somebody's rushing in, somebody, or you rushing towards somebody, the hermit, this is Virgo, it's Virgo full moon, this confirmation again too. Go watch that Aries and that Virgo reading that, that I got up for y'all already, okay? Go watch that. Um, Virgo moon right now, it's big time for you to manifest, it's a full moon. Full moon. Full moons are for releasing Pisces. So whatever you want to release, release it. Release it. Don't cry over spilled milk. Whatever you thinking of right now finna be victory. Don't get caught up in your mind and King of Swords energy, okay? But come in mature. Come in mature. That's all I can say from that. Justice. Be balanced, okay? You've been waiting for your ships to come in. Your ship's coming in, okay? Your ship's coming in, Pisces, but it's something that you're supposed to do. And you've been reflecting on that, especially during this season. But I'm telling you, on March 20th, every season, tower moments, some stuff that happened, Pisces, you don't really like for real, for real, but it just is what it is. But you find in balance. It's a rebirth for you. I mean, you didn't lost a lot of stuff, but it's a rebirth for you. You've been resting, but you find out how to balance things out. You got a lot of money coming in, too. Don't worry yourself, though, Pisces. Do not worry yourself. Don't worry about no money. Everything finna be fine, okay? Let's go ahead and get um a Lover's Oracle card. I think this is going to be my last reading for the day, y'all. Um, Lover's Oracle card. Energy been good today, though, I'll tell you that. Energy good today. I don't see nothing but blessings coming for the people that's watching these three videos. I put up the Virgo, the Aries, and the Pisces. Uh, freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Come on, God. Who be writing these cards? Like, they be everything. Look at this. I want to show y'all this. This I love this. This like a lotus or like a flower. You blossoming right now, Pisces. You growing. You don't, you don't think you are, but you are. And you and you really going to feel free. Like you feel like you've been in bondage for like the past few years, but you letting that go. Freedom, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So it's if, if you want it to be Pisces, okay? Oh, I love this one at the bottom. It says, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. That is beautiful. God, I love that message. I needed to hear that just for myself. So that means there's some other Pisces that need to hear it as well too, okay? Um, let's go ahead and pull um, a lesson card. Oh, fear. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love, okay? So fear is not of love, okay? Um Fear is also not of God, okay? Fear is not of a higher frequency, all right? So if we are in a constant energy of fear, we need to shift out of that because that is of our lowest self, all right, Pisces? Let me get one uh, positive affirmation, please, for this reading. This is a beautiful reading. It's so powerful. I feel called to take that one. Ooh. I deserve everything I have and more. I'm going to read it two more times, my loves, to speak into existence. I deserve everything I have and more, and I deserve everything I have and more. Ashe, and so it shall be. All right, so if you are interested in any of my spiritual coaching um, services down below, they are there, okay? If you like to book a spiritual advice reading, um, aka tarot card reading, the information is down below. Um, you can email, email me at peacelovebe. 93 at gmail.com. Again, that's peacelovebe at gmail.com. All right. Um, peacelovebe93 at gmail.com, okay? Um, I know y'all think that's crazy. I don't know my email address, but it's one that I don't use that often, and I've decided to shift it to a business email. So peacelovebe93 at gmail.com, okay? Um, you can book me for all spiritual coaching services. I have a list of everything. 
um, in the description box below. Um, if this reading resonated with you, if you just simply enjoyed it, don't forget to uh, like, share, subscribe, and comment. All right. Um, and most importantly, my loves, if you have not heard this today, you are loved and you are cherished. Until next time, my loves, bye-bye.